Hi everyone and welcome back. Part three of four, how to take a structure that has already been done. Look back through to um, the first one that I did, which was how to establish the foundations for a larger than life arrangement for a church or a big venue. Once you've got your structure in place, I'm using all artificial and as you'll see as we've moved through to the second one, I added a few fresh flowers and it was beautiful pinks. This time I want to take it through to the fall. I've got some beautiful rose hips, I've got some gorgeous dahlias. I've got, look at these, does this not look like the fall to you in late summer? Oh, I just love those colours. And I've got a few different dahlias, plus I've got the last roses from the garden. The structure is all in place and it's now just a matter of getting some big branches. So you've got your big tall bits out here and it's just a matter of taking the rose hips. We'll have one into there. I've got another one here. Let's take this a little bit to the back. Hold on, I've got to just get into here and just make sure that it goes in. That can go into there. And then because I've done that over there, it's time to bring another one. Oh, it's like a good workout doing this. So you've got, and you'll notice that I've taken those further out. And the reason I've done that is because that's a lovely texture and it's a lovely bit of colour and it's just helping to make the design go a little bit further. So one to the top, one to the left, and one over to the right. The next thing I want to put into here are the dahlias. Now I'll just take those prices, those labels off there because we don't want labels. Now I've got two of these. I'm going to bring one down and into the top. Now you wouldn't normally put something that big at the top of an arrangement. you Normally I would say you work from your finest down, but that I just feel this is more impact forming by putting that at the top. Now with that, because I've got that there, I'm just going to bring that one down and into there and just step it through. One moment, I've just got to get into here now because it's quite a bit into here. Bring that down and into there. So I've got one there and I'm bringing the other one down. I've left those there, the magnolias, because that's just another form that's filling in that space. Now I've got three of these beautiful big hydrangeas. I'm just going to bring one down and into there. I've got three of those. Whoops. And I'm going to bring that one over to there. And then I'm going to bring this other one around and over to this side. Now, going back to why I put those orange dahlias into there, I've got th the big, bright, heavy colours of the hydrangeas are going down towards the base and to diffuse that big, heavy, massive colour, this is where I can cheat with my magnet, with the the dahlias, and I could take those up. So visually, bang, and then drifting through. The other great thing about doing this is because I've got those little rose hips up there, that's diffusing the weights of the dahlias, and these big heavy berthas around here are actually being diffused by the rose hips on the other side. So we're starting to get some colour into what was pretty much just a base of, well it was beautiful on its own, but because from we did that base, we can actually start extending it. The next thing I want to put in are some of these smaller rose hips, and I'm going to bring one and put that there. I've got three of these, and I'm going to bring one and put that out the side there, so one there, and then I'm going to bring another one 
over to that side there. So that now the weight of that big, heavy hydrangea is actually being diffused. So your eye comes in, hits those little berries there and it just drifts through and it stops at the hydrangea. The next thing I want to put into here are some lovely garden roses. So we've got this big, heavy, heavy orange there. Let's just diffuse that by putting that rose there. I've got two of those, so I'm gonna put one over there. And then because we've, remember I talked about an imaginary line running through the center. What you do on that side, you do on the other side. That can go down into there. Now I've also got these slightly small, same variety of rose, but it's a, a different sort of texture. It's a different color. I'm just going to bring that into there, like so. And then because I've got that there, I'm now just going to put that into there so that the eye drifts up, it hits onto this one, it few, runs, the eye runs across this, and then it runs through to the other side. Now, I've got some field dahlias. I've got three of those. Now, I, between there and there, I've got a little void. Let's just put that into there. Oops, make sure it's in. And then because I've got that there, bring that over to the other side. I'm just placing these, by the way. Oops, that can go over and into there. Oh, get in there. That can just go into there. I've got one more of those. I'm just going to bring that up and in and over to there. And then I've got these beautiful, these bigger, slightly bigger ones, which I'm just going to bring one down and into there. And these are just going to stick it. Oops, stick out just a little bit. I'm going to put, put that one into there. Oops, let me pick that one there up. And then I'm going to bring that over to there. So we've sort of like got a little bit of a triangle. Now you can move these around to visually suit. And I've got one more of these. And it's about now that you have to look at it and think to yourself, will I or won't I? Because you could put that into there if you wanted to. So there we have a beautiful arrangement for fall or for the autumn or late summer into the autumn. It hasn't, this, just a few more flowers, if you wanted to bring in another, some fresh flowers just to, to cheat the system, you could put some lilies in, some fresh lilies, maybe some carnation, maybe some giant mums could go into there. But you know what, from a distance, nobody's going to know whether that is fresh or artificial and it's to be viewed from a long way away and I think that that's a great way of bringing the fallen other thing that's nice about this it will last for weeks and weeks and weeks hope you've enjoyed this I've enjoyed sharing it with you and next time I see you I'll show you how to take this into Christmas see you again another day